So, what are we doing? So, I am doing work still, because we work hard here. I've done- In the corner on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done all my contacting. I'm waiting for people to get back to me. My job doesn't end until like six or seven, yeah. unfortunately. We have, we have stuff to do. I'm, make, I'm making us lunch. What are we having? I don't know, what are we having? We're gonna have chicken and maybe some corn. Frozen chicken. Frozen we, chicken. We, we don't bread our own chicken here. We're not that fancy. No, I'm saving. I'm saving that chicken for dinners. Yes. And and, <laughs> and I have Nat Geo on in the our free in the our background. freezer is stocked with with chicken, just frozen chicken in bags. I mean, it's a good lunch. And vegetables. Oh yeah, that's a good lunch. I don't disagree. And mm, you can have chips if you I want them. I need to get more bread because we're yeah, we're running long. We're running long bread. I haven't made sandwiches. That would also be a good lunch option too. But we we can get bread. Bread is very difficult to get so far yeah. for us. Yeah, bread and milk. With Instacart, yeah. It hopefully, just, hopefully they have coffee creamer because we're running low on coffee creamer. It depends on timing. A lot of that stuff is still there though, probably. So hopefully, we'll find out we're, though, we're right? We're getting through just like everybody else is probably. Yeah. And yeah, so far it seems like the parks are not going to open until June, May or June, unfortunately. June. As we said in prior videos, you can't even make. You can't basically make what is it? They're not allowing you to June make reservations until June first. Yeah. So that shot that shoots down any of it's our. Your birthday. Uh, yeah, it is my birthday. It shoots down any of our plans. Yeah. There we go. We got to make one for June first. There we go. Problem solved. Yay! Except our house is more of an importance right now, so we've been yeah. trying for that, but that's unfortunately a losing battle. Because uh, nothing. Going on. Nothing's really being open house. Yeah, but. We'll see they'll see works. you once you have your lunch. Yeah, we'll see my lunch. So, how is your lunch? It's fantastic. What do you got there? Honey barbecue chicken. And? And corn. Woohoo! The veggie. It's like we're eating at the flying fish, but we're not really. <laughs> that was we got our quick service for the day, right? Yeah, we got our quick at service Ashley's for the day. At Ashley's Kitchen. This is, well, we've gotten used to this food for now. Yeah. This is, this is the first time we I think we've successfully eaten home for almost a month. Yeah, because there's no no Disney. No Disney. We don't eat out. We've been good. So there is our dinner. What is it called? American, American chop suey. Except for the fact that we only it's not really American chop suey. It's mine pasta with not. meat sauce. Because <laughs> mine mine has parmesan cheese on it. Mine has mozzarella on it. You're but so it's only awesome. beef. Um Chunky tomatoes, pasta sauce, and, and that's Hawaiian it. rolls. On yes, and then rolls. Hawaiian rolls on the top for Alex, because we love them. Oh yes, we do. They're amazing. All right, so top three quick services, and yes. what are we gonna do it inside of the park? Inside of the park, not including Disney Springs. No. So we will exclude Disney Springs for now, because I looked, and some of those do not allow you to use the quick service credits if you are on the dining plan, but. All right, so we're going to do the same format that we did last time, where we're both going to guess each other. So we're going to do top three, because we've done quite a bit, but we haven't done all, all of them yet. There are a couple cool ones, so I was looking at kind of a listing just to re refresh my memory on which ones we've hit. There are some cool ones. I heard there's a really cool one in France that we haven't hit, so that's something to check out. It's yeah. not the ice cream place either. Is so. it the crepe one? And there's one in Norway as well. Norway as well. So those, those, those will have, we'll have to keep in mind for future videos to so go check those out, but... Yeah. Let's start with, do you want to start with you or me? Uh, do you can guess mine first. Number three? Yeah, number three. Regal Eagle? No. What is it? Um, The Lotus Blossom Cafe, or the Lotus Cafe in China. Oh, okay. I really like their uh, beef noodles. They're very good. See, if you're not picky, I feel like if you're a non-picky eater, it's a great value there. Yeah. And also- It's a lot of food. There's a lot of food. Like we've had it where we, we were able to share a lot of food. No, oh, yeah. But, we usually end up, unfortunately, having a lot more than we could eat. You can't really bring it home no. the way that it is. So we no. usually, unfortunately, have to waste a little bit. But there's it's a lot. Really it's just good. not for picky eaters such as myself. No. So unfortunately, that will not be my number three as a little guess. It was a little hint <laughs> to you. But it is great value as well. I feel like every time we go there, it was like 18 bucks for both of us. And they have specials. I mean, I found some good stuff that I've liked yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to like everything sometimes in those meals because they're already... You can't really customize them very no. much. But... There is one or two things that you'll eat out of the whole entire meal. So, all right. You want to guess my number three? Regal Eagle. Nope. Oh. I was just number guessing three, that because you guessed I'm going to say mine. Creature Comforts in Animal Creature Kingdom. Comforts. So, Creature Comforts is where the Starbucks is. So, that's the Starbucks location. What really made it cool for me is me and Ashley actually celebrated one of oh. our anniversaries <laughs> one year. 
And they thought we were married. They thought we were married, so they saw our pen, <laughs> and without any charge, they made us a cinnamon bun. Yeah. Mickey ear, the huge, it was on the huge plate, so it was like the cinnamon bun Mickey ears. Yeah. And they have a lot of really other cool pastries yeah. as well. And we just stopped to get a drink. Yeah, we just stopped to get a, a quick drink, Starbucks drink for both of us, yeah. and that, that happened, so I really appreciated that. I think it's a really great I wasn't place. even counting that as a... I really like the cinnamon as well. The cin what, is it, what is it, a cinnamon bowl? Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll in Mickey, Mickey ear shape. Yeah. I really enjoyed that as well. I think they have a lot of other cool offerings. They have a lot of cool drinks, even though it's technically a Starbucks as well. They just have a lot of cool stuff going on in there. And yeah. yeah. I would put that at number three because that was a good memorable experience for me. And I mean, the other two are not going to be a Starbucks type place, but <laughs> that is nine number three. So number two for you, Regal Eagle. Yes, it yes. is Regal Eagle. I, I enjoyed when we went there. I thought it was good. I thought it was a lot of food. Yeah. I really liked uh, my drink that I got at the outside bar. I like how that's set up. Like, I like how they have the outside bar where you can get, like, some different cocktails yes. that you can't get inside. Yes, yes, you can yes. still get some inside, but there are some that are exclusive just the, to the outside. The good ones are outside. Yeah. Wink, I got wink. one inside. It wasn't as good. So yeah. I would suggest getting them outside because it's also made by a bartender, I yes, believe. Yes, it's made so by a bartender. That will also help you a little bit as well. But inside... I feel like it's really cool. The I food's mean, good. As long as it stays in the same quality that they had when we first tried it out, I would say it's really, really good. Yeah. Really worth a check out. And also, they'll be opening mobile order when they do open. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be fully functional. Unlike when we oh, went, yeah. it was kind of a mess because there was just a lot of people. But they were handling it very well. They were only having a couple people at a time go in. Yeah. Just so it didn't get overcrowded in there. There were seats inside. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to sit out in the sun, that's fine. There are seats inside for you. And there's seats outside as well, as you can tell by our video that we had prior and there's all different sauces we didn't really get to get a good look at all of them but if you're a sauce person there are there those as well all right do you want to guess my number two it's regal eagle mine is regal eagle as well you went on a rant about it it was like oh, it's yes. regal eagle i really enjoyed my burger i thought that was probably one of the best burgers i've had you really property. liked my drink i really liked her drink as well i feel like the sides were good so it was like a nice fresh Ooh, the, pickles the pickles were really good and even the s'mores kind of dessert was really good as yeah. well when we went i feel like that's just a really good addition it's newer so it's probably not gonna be on many people's no. list or if you see like one of those top 10 top 20 lists online it's probably not going to be updated because for that it's new. because it is new i mean when me and ashley went we had a really good experience i feel like everything was fresh everything was warm yeah so there wasn't any issue from that standpoint i feel like and just the quality of everything was really good so hopefully it stays the same throughout this if it does i would definitely put it at number two on our list but i mean one thing to keep in mind is we haven't hit all the quick services in disney there are quite a lot and there's only so little time to hit some yes. of these things because we do a lot of sit downs as well so this is subject to change, something that might change around, moving around. I mean, I, I feel like know. I feel like one of, I don't think my number one's ever gonna change. I feel change. like yeah, I feel like most of the ones in the top three aren't gonna change too too much, but there is there's room. You I never think, know. No, I don't Regal think... Eagle took in one in and they took number two spots. But so. I don't think my number one's ever gonna change. My number one might not change either, so we'll have to bring it to number one. What's your number one? You have to guess. Satuli Canteen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yours is that too. Maybe. <laughs> is it? Yes, so mine yeah. is mine is Tuli Canteen as well. So I really like how you can customize your own meal. Like, you can have it different every time. It doesn't have to be exactly the same every time. Like, there's different bases, different things that you can put in it. It's just a really cool place. Like, I feel like if you're it's a really, really big good. Avatar fan, it's just a really cool place. Now, like I said, I am a very picky eater, and there's a lot of stuff in there that I have no idea what it is. But I am fine with it being together all in one bowl, and I don't really mind it. I mean, I didn't really even have to look through the ingredients. <laughs> Really enjoy the chicken. That is fantastic. They even have like, is it like shaved like steak beef. or beef? That is awesome as well. So you can get like chicken and beef. Yeah. And that's just fantastic. I don't know what they do with all of it, but it's really good. The sauces are good as well. So you just got to find one that you like and that, that's a good addition kind of to supplement it. And obviously you saw, if you've seen our video, we also did the little, it was like a cake, but it wasn't. It was a mousse. It was a mousse. They have two different kinds of that, and that was just fantastic. Yeah. I just feel like it has a really cool theming, because you look on the inside on there, and it's all, like, Avatar theming and kind of, you know, relics. The food's just really good, too. Like... It is. It's really fresh, it tastes like. The noodles are fresh. Everything's just really on point. We've had it, like, probably three or on four our times. Whenever we were on our vacations, usually we'd the go first on, day we'd be down. We'd, we'd be go on going Flight of Passage. Kingdom. Yeah, we'd go on Flight of Passage. We'd come and off, and we'd come off there. and we'd be hungry and we'd want to go there. So, it's just a really good placement. I feel like if you're coming off of Flight of Passage, you're going to probably be hungry, because you might be waiting a while if you especially if you didn't get a fast pass you're gonna be waiting a while but yeah it's just a fantastic environment it's really open so there's a lot of seating usually yes there were times in the summer where it would there, get really there hot. are tables that are designated for families who are larger like six and up yeah and there's also just room outside as well so it's under a canopy type yes. of, type 
kind of situation. So no rain can get on you there. There have been times when it rains outside where it gets a little packed inside, but we've always been able to find but a table. But they, they also always have that person who won't let people in unless they're going to get food. Yeah, out there. So really cool. Also a mobile order type type scenario. Yes. Me and Ashley appreciate it either way. It's we really we just, usually do mobile order. Because we've, we've enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. But those are what I would say our top three. Now, do you have an honorable mention? Give me a second. Let me think. You go first. Honorable mention. Harbor House. Columbia Harbor House, Harbor, Harbor House would be one. And why? Because it's, it's where, where we've always gone, where my family's always gone. It's like a staple. Okay. And anything else on that? Mm. Not really. Do it's you, just a good place. Do you place. have any other honorable Mine mentions? is in England, the little, oh, little, the little to-go area for cart. the fish and chips. It's not the best value for fish and chips. It's kind of expensive, I feel like, yeah. for like one bread battered piece of fish with yeah. a couple fries but it's, it's it is good really lunch. good and it's just as good as the inside at rosen crown so that's something cool me and ashley once got starving we were starving while we were waiting for the new show to happen oh, in yeah, Epcot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we, we both took turns we both took turns because we staked out a seat because we figured it was going to be very crazy and but hard I think to that find that was it. our first video we ever put up that was the first also the first video we ever put up and yeah so basically that was what we were utilizing to eat. His, I went up, I got one piece, and I was like, this isn't a lot. So Ashley's going to have to go up after me, and she can get another piece. So we both got two pieces that way, and we ate it. And I thought the quality's really good. It's just a really good kind of spot. It's always crowded, I feel like. We're not always crowded, but there's a lot of people usually there's, going there's there. There's always a line, but it's never long. For it, but it, it moves very quickly. They get yeah. the food out very quickly as well. Any other ones that you could think of that you'd say honorable mention? All right, I think we're going to end with one more honorable mention. Um, I would say just to round it out, just to put one in every park, um, the ABC Commissionary would be one of them It's been good. For me. I feel like we enjoy it's it It's a there. classic. I, I've always gone there with my family, and then I started taking you there. Yeah, there's some new stuff all the time. It's usually, we just get a burger, or I get a burger. You and don't I usually get, a get chicken. And there's also a lot of kind of different options yeah, seasonally. They, have different things that filter through it's usually not that packed either it's usually no. pretty easy to get table yeah. so we enjoy it there and then i guess for mine last honorable mention i would say guest Barilla's grill in yes. the grand floridian, grand floridian. mainly because it's open 24, 24 hours. hours we've been stay we've stayed there many times and it comes it, in handy yeah there are some times where you get back to your room at like 11 and the food place is closed at 10 and, and you had dinner reservations hungry. from six or five and then you're like uh and then we picked up like a pizza before yeah. we picked up a couple other things you can pick up like a dessert yeah or this there's a lot of different options that they have already pre-made it was where we got the cinderella you. cake pop yeah that was also where we got the cinderella cake pop so they have a lot of cool things i mean there's yeah. other resorts that have some cool ones that we haven't really checked out yes. too too much which might be a cool thing if we go back to some of the resorts to check them out i know there's captain cooks in the polynesian but we haven't really gotten anything from there uh, just the cake, the uh, seasonal no, stuff. No, we also got the nachos that one time when yeah. I really wanted nachos. But there hasn't I was been thoroughly disappointed. But we haven't really gotten a lot. lot no, we haven't. There. I feel like Gasparillas we've gotten a lot because when we've stayed there originally, we got the pizza and then we got a couple other things. I forget yeah. what else we got. I feel like we had like we probably got a sandwich or something. But probably. I know we've gotten a lot from there. Quality's pretty good. Yeah. And like you said, the best selling factor is it's open twenty four hours. So, oh, you tired already? <sighs> So it is going up on Easter. So as you can tell, it is the Easter day when we're recording this as well. So happy Easter to everybody. We hope you all have a great holiday. And aside from that, we have a lot of other, well, not a lot, but we're, we're running low on Disney videos, but we do have some. I think we have about three or four in the, in the pipeline. Three, three or two actually. Okay. So we have a couple. So we'll try to be mixing those in on a weekly basis. Try to make them last as long as possible because we have a feeling the parks aren't going to be open until probably June. June or late May. So... We might be running out a little bit sooner than we thought, but we actually had a lot more than we thought we did because the parks were closed. We made it pretty far since March fifteenth, so we'll be doing these occasionally. These top ten, top five, top three month. lists, yeah. So we'll be adding these in, in in lieu of that until the parks open. We'll have plenty of stuff. That we've been making lists for what we want to do when the parks are open oh and God. everything is safely able to happen. So thanks I'm so much. Running to the park. Oh yeah, we're gonna be not gonna walk. Gonna run. We are gonna run, and maybe we'll even have a house closer to there. Mm -hmm. Never know. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Happy Easter to everybody. We hope you're all staying safe. We hope you guys have a great day. I know here in Florida it is... Cloudy. Cloudy. But a chance of rain. But... Is there a chance of rain? I don't know. There usually always is a chance of rain down here. But I see bright suns ahead, so we'll see how this goes. And thanks so much for watching. Third time I've said it. This time I mean it. I'm Alex. I'm Ashley. And this is Disney's Party, Party of Two. two.